Not a big shocking announcement. We kind of anticipated this one, but Austin Hill will be making his NASCAR Cup Series debut at Michigan. Last week, RCR teased that they would have a Cup Series driver or something with a Cup Series and posted the silhouette of a driver. It was very clearly Austin Hill. Like, there was no question about it. So, no shock here, but still, it is news. We do have to talk about it. Let's read the statements first, and then we will talk about Austin Hill. Austin Hill said, As a kid growing up in this sport, getting the chance to run a NASCAR Cup Series car is the ultimate dream, especially with a team like Richard Childress Racing that has much history and success. I'm so thankful that Richard Childress and everyone at RCR have so much faith in me. It will be a learning weekend for sure, but I've had success at Michigan International Speedway in the past and can't wait to take on the track's wide sweeping corners in a NASCAR Cup Series Chevrolet. Team owner Richard Childress said Austin Hill has shown talent in every series he's raced in during his career, so I couldn't be more excited to have him behind the wheel of a Cup Series car. He's having a strong season in the Xfinity Series, and I know he will be just as competitive and eager to learn behind the wheel of a Cup Series car. Here is the paint scheme for Austin Hill. Same sponsor as he has in the Xfinity Series, but uh, Austin Hill, if you did not know, he raced in the Truck Series for a few years. Uh, he has eight career wins in the Truck Series, and this year is his first full-time series in the Xf first full-time season in the Xfinity Series, and he has two wins, both at Super Speedways. He won the season opener at Daytona, and he won at Atlanta as well. Um, he's led over 200 laps on the season. He has eight top fives, 13 top tens on this season. So he's having a really good season at sixth in the points. So obviously RCR, they have a situation right now uh, where they currently have a driver in one of their cup cars, their full-time cup cars, who will be there next year, but He's already announced that he's not going to be there. Of course, Tyler Reddick announced a few weeks ago he would be leaving RCR at the end of the 2023 season for 2311 Racing. Uh, so Richard Childress Racing has quite a bit of time to figure out who's going to fill in the full-time RCR car. Uh, you know, it could still be the 8. They could change it to the 33. They could change it back to another number. I don't know. But the point being is that RCR has time to figure out who they want in that second car. Obviously, Austin Dillon's going to stay. So, Austin Hill is a very good option for multiple reasons. Number one, he's already in the RCR program. I mean, you know, you already know the guy. You already build race cars for him. you got a relationship already. It seems like the natural next step for Austin Hill after this year, next year, two years in the Xfinity Series, getting some more experience in the lower levels to move him up to Cup. Um, also, you know, it's not like he's some scrub or he's not good. He has proven that he can win races in the lower series. So give him some time. Give him a part-time schedule next year in Cup. Uh, let him learn how to drive the next-gen car. Get some experience behind the wheel in a decent car and not, you know, a back marker car. And it could help him out a lot. So kind of groom him for that full-time Cup Series ride. If you give him a start every few weeks in the Cup Series, then he will potentially be ready for a full-time Cup Series schedule by 2024. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Austin Hill, I think this is really good for him, obviously, for his career to make his first ever Cup Series start. And obviously for Richard Childress Racing, trying to find someone to fill in that second car for 2024, you still got a lot of time to figure it out. But Austin Hill does seem like a pretty good option for that second RCR seat, uh, you know, just because obviously he's in the program already. And then two, he is a good driver. But now that you have this time to figure out who's going to be in the car in 2024, if it is going to be Austin Hill, you are going to prepare him for that seat. You can give him a part-time schedule in a third car and you can kind of groom him or prepare him for a full-time Cup Series schedule. Prepare the, pr Give him time in the new next-gen car because they're so much different from the Xfinity cars. Give him as much time as you need to because, you know, he's going to need it. So this is very good for Austin Hill, obviously. RCR, I mean, he's an RCR driver, so good, 
good for them, I guess. But obviously that question is yet to be answered on who will replace Tyler Reddick at RCR. I would think that Austin Hill would be one of the favorites just due to you know him being with RCR, him having a lot of success in the lower series. So I would expect Hill to be one of the favorites for that second RCR car. But uh, yeah, as I said, not too big of shocking news day so far. Kyle Busch, if you want to announce what you're doing next year, that'd be great. Uh, but yeah, so Austin Hill, he's going to the number 33 for at least one race this year. He could be doing more races in the future, but at least this week at Michigan, we'll see what he does. We'll see if he races more in the Cup Series next year and if he uh, eventually gets to that second RCR car. But short little video here today. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, we got NASCAR news whenever it happens, and uh, so leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video, whenever it may be, on whatever news it may be.